uh, this particular element of, uh, of the truck convoys uh, and this blockade, uh, we heard last night from the RCMP and the CBSA uh, that they were coming down the highway and intended to close the border down. Uh, we've not had any impediments to the flow of traffic or uh, uh, access uh, to and from the town of Emerson or for us uh, to come out here to the duty free or to the border uh, up until last night. Uh, and that's when we heard that uh, there were additional plans to uh, perhaps block traffic or shut off all traffic uh, to and from the border. And that seems to have materialized today. The message is important. Uh, but it's not the only message. Kids have to get to school. Ambulances have to get to the hospital. People like me have to get to the border and get to work. Um, we all of us, all of us have to get back to some semblance of normalcy and live our lives again as well. Uh, that's also very, very important. We're into the third week of some form of protest here with no end in sight. Uh, and it seems to be increasing in scope and in magnitude. Uh, which uh, I, I think requires some more attention and, and some better management. Um, so this, I expect, is temporary. I don't expect that this will go on so long uh, that places like duty-free shops have to close down. Uh, if that happens, <laughs> you know, you're looking at auto plants shutting down uh, and, you know, some major food processors and distributors as well. Uh, we just we can't let things get to that level it's it's important that we have access and egress to emerson and this time it's not blocked so that's really important because we either have citizens taking alternate routes uh to to get onto the 75 which with the bad weather uh it's been problematic for people some people are getting stuck uh, and things like that so it's important we have that access also for our emergency services and for our businesses and and, and people needing to get either to work uh, or to their appointments uh, and things like that so it's important that we can get in and out of town um, and uh, for our emergency services it's good that uh, the protesters are allowing us to uh, access the port, so that's that's really important. The RCMP, I believe, negotiated that, so um, that's huge because we also uh, we have mutual aid uh, agreements with Pemina County. So, should we need to uh, send emergency services down there, we can we can access the border. So that's 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 good news for us. It's unprecedented, and uh, I understand I understand protests and things like that. I'm I'm not a big fan of blockade, but. I guess this is what some people feel is necessary, and uh, but it's unfortunate. We we like to see the border back open here.